So till now we have seen two type of cloud operation we have already built. First one is a function based cloud operation and second one was a class based cloud operation. So in today's video we are going to build the third type of cloud operation which is function based API view cloud operation. So before going to this uh, third type of cloud operation we need to understand one of the main uh, decorators over here which is API view decorators and the functionality that API view decorators bring with itself. After we understand that we will move to our ID and write, start writing the code for this cloud operation. So API view uh, cloud operation brings some kind of functionality with itself. So first functionality is that um, before you might remember that you, to get the data you need to first trim the data then you need to parse the data then you use to get the data in dictionary format. But with the help of the API view decorator you will get the data within the request itself. Second functionality is it, it throws 405 error which is method not allowed whenever you pass the wrong method. And the third functionality provided is, is the get method functionality. So if you don't pass the method to this uh, decorator, it will by default take get method as the functionality. So let's see the syntax. Syntax is like at the rate, which is uh, the symbol for the decorator about the function at the rate API view. An example is at the rate API view inside that is a list which will take all the method which you have, we want to pass. Over here we have shown get and post method. You can pass put, delete, patch and whatever method you want. And uh, below that function and inside that code whatever you want to write. So I think you might have got the gist of what is function based uh, like what is API view decorators. So now let's go to our ID and understand how this work and how much line of code you will save with this one decorators over here. So let's move to our ID. So we are back to our favorite ID Visual Studio code over here. As you, as you can see over here, we have already created two um, API uh, cloud operation over here, which is class based view and, cl uh, and function based view over here. So we, today we are going to create the third API view, which is function based API view. So let's create the um, view for that. So we'll write the name function underscore based underscore API underscore view view dot py. So it's an empty file. We need to write something over here. So let's do one thing. Let's change the code. Uh, from class based view to function based API view. So let's copy the whole code from here. We'll copy it, uh, paste it over here. We need to create the URL for this as well. So we'll come in the class based URL over here and we'll copy one of that and let's name it function based API view URLs. Let's uncomment this URL. Um, let's import the view over here. So we'll import function underscore based underscore API view okay we'll use this function based API view as you know we don't need to write this all thing over here so what view we are going to use we'll name the view as student underscore API or we'll keep the name same as function based view okay so we'll let come over here it's showing error because there is no kind of such an error uh, function over here so we'll this error will go automatically Let's do one thing, change this class to func def. Let's pass request because you know, function requires a requ uh, request over here. We don't need this decorator over here. If we hit save button, as you can see, the error has been gone now. So we need a decorator which we discussed earlier, which is API view. So let's import the decorator. We need we'll importing from from rest underscore framework dot decorators import API view. We'll write API decorator over here at the rate API decorator inside this it is a list we'll pass get post for first we'll write for the get part over here okay so instead of it can't be function function we need to check if the method is coming get or not so for that we'll do if request dot method equal equal get then we need to do something over here so earlier what we used to do we used to write this flow line of code to get just the id over here so what we'll do we'll get the dictionary format by using python data equal to request dot data and that's it this is the code this will give you the whole dictionary that we are getting passed from here we don't need to write this three line of code Tuck and gone so yeah from this thing we'll get the id now we are checking id is not none it's not none so we'll go inside we'll get the student uh, object over here 
we pass in a student object to the student serializer the serializer look like it has a name in rule field over here it is some kind of much of validations over here which we did right in the earlier video to understand the validation and the data in which the data in which the serializer flow uh, sorry 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 the flow of data in in serializer so if you are not watch that video i would highly recommend you to watch that video because it contains the great deep information that how does the data inside the serializer flow so i would pin that video in the i button please go and watch that video so this is a student serializer as you can see it's the model serializer this is a student uh, model over here only three field id name and role so we are keeping it keeping, keeping it a very simple so we'll go back go back we'll come over here so as you can see we have passed student object and we have passed the student object in the model serializer now we were rendering the data oh we don't like this rendering part and all what we'll do when you're using the um, decorators of uh, rest framework we can also use the response of rest framework so from rest underscore frame oh i might have written the spelling wrong rest underscore framework dot response response yeah import response what does this response has what power does this response have i sorry for my english <laughs> what power does this response have so what we'll do um, response can replace this two line <gasps> over here we are in the mission to cut short all the lines so this response has a power to cut short one more line over here we don't need this rendering why do we used to do this rendering because we were converting this data into json format over here but response can do this whole, both part in a one line so what we'll do we'll just remove this line it's gone and what we'll do return response inside that we will passing the student series dot data and it will automatically understand it is the json response so we don't need this part also okay i have closed the sidebar it's okay we don't need any it anyways yeah so yeah we have replaced the line over here then this is it this is the data for getting the one student okay so now if you want to all the data you need to pass manipul to true and we again don't need this thing we'll return the same part we'll come over here and do the return Ta -da! it's gone so as you can see the line of code has been reduced it will get more reduced in the further video when we come for to the um, mixing and all so don't forget to subscribe to the channel because there are lots and lots of things that we are going to learn in this channel okay so let's see that it, it, it is get working properly or not so we'll go in a postman get all let's hit the send button as you can see the all the data we are getting if you want a single data so for that what we'll do we'll pass the id inside this so for the id we'll pass id and let's say four hit the send button and as you can see we are getting the single data over you so the get is working perfectly fine so we'll come to the go uh, id and create one more data so for that what we'll do we'll use this thing now we won't be doing if if it is not a get method then we need to check the push method so for that what we'll write we'll write l if and we need to check if this is a method is post or not but for that we need to allow the push method so we'll come here and we'll allow the push method and as you and now it's going to be a same thing first we need the data so for that we'll replace this line of a code we'll pass the data inside the inside the serializer we'll check if it is valid or not then we'll save it and then we'll return the data so for that return will come over here if the serializer is not valid then we'll return the error over here so for that what we'll do here errors and we'll delete this line come it's gone let's read this one more line and yep and it's gone and we'll check is it is working properly or not so for that let's create entry um i am very bad with the name and all so let's keep it simple simple and let's create the entry and as you can see the entry has been created with the id 28 but we don't like the name simple over here we want to make it complicated so for that we need to write the put api over here so for that first thing we need to allow the put api over here so we'll pass the put over here then as you can guys are smart people so you might have guessed that we are on a track of using the same and same code so we'll come over here put and again we'll do the same thing we'll need the data we'll replace the three line of a code 
we get the data we get from the id we pass the id to student object we pass the student object to student model serializer and we pass also pass the data that we want to change and we make partial equal to true because we don't want to change the whole data then we check it is valid or not it is valid then we return the data that is uh, that we got or else or else or else or else or uh, yeah one minute yeah or else we'll return the error over you so for that we'll come over here error and we don't need this line tuck why tata this also is gone and this line is also gone let's change the name to complicated let's go to the put entry and as you can we want the id id was 28 we'll come over here and make it 28 and we need the name is complicated and let's hit the send button and as you can see the data has been changed let's confirm it send oh we need 28 28 28 yes the name has been changed to complicated now we don't like complications we need our life to be simple so we'll delete our complications so to delete that what we'll do we'll come in an elif method over here um i'm not able to copy we'll come over here put it here and let's write delete did you see something some problem yep yep you might have guessed properly we have not allowed the delete method over here so let's allow delete method over here and one more thing we need the data so for that what we'll do we'll come over here pass the data from the data we'll get the id from the id we'll get the student model and should we'll delete the student model then response we don't want to render it we'll use this thing but instead of serializer or data what we'll pass we'll pass the hard code response that we want to pass so for that yep yep line saving line saving line saving line saving line saving yep and it's gone let's delete the complications from our life so let's come in delete entry that's part 28 as you can hit send let's come in all let's see all the entries hit send and the complication is gone again we are enjoying our simple life now one more thing now we have created the crud function based api view over here one more thing over here when you use rest framework api view and response over here the rest framework by default provide you the browsable api format where you can check the api and everything so to check check that go to the uh, api over here sorry for that error it always comes since we are developer so come to the um, local host then student api as you can see this is a browsable api that um, rest framework provides us over here it is a get all if you want to create the entry you can uh, create the entry over here if you want to update the entry you can update the entry over here you all are free to try an error over here whatever you want to do okay so i hope you might have liked this video in the future video we are going to make this code more and more shorter so don't forget to subscribe the channel it gives me a hell lot of uh, motivation to create such videos for you because it takes really a lot of time to make such videos for you please press the like button if you like the video comment your thought in the um, comment section if you write comment it really makes me happy that i see some beautiful comments from you people share this video with your friends let them also gain some kind of a knowledge that i'm trying to share with you okay so please subscribe the channel and we'll meet in the next video till then take care